Welcome to Storytime. I'm Anne from the National Air and Space Museum, and I'm here to bring some of our museum stories to you at home. I like to read science fiction stories and watch shows that help me to imagine what it might be like to travel outside of our solar system and meet living beings outside of our world. So far, humans have not been able to travel to other planets, but scientists have gathered information about what might be there. Science fiction takes an idea from real science and then adds a lots of imagination to make a wonderful story. Sometimes the ideas from science fiction later are made real. When I was a little girl, video phone calls were science fiction and they only existed in TV shows, but now we can talk to our family and friends and see them at the same time. One of my favorite exhibits at the National Air and Space Museum is a collection of old space toys. Here is a robot toy from the museum. It would be fun to make it walk and talk. And this is a rocket ship that was made way when people were starting to be able to travel in rockets off of the Earth. It looks like some of the fast airplanes from that time. That looks like a fun toy too. Can you imagine big whales that swim around in space? Take a look at this space whale toy from the 1950s. Can you see two space travelers inside the whale? What do you think the long antenna in front of the whale are for? I wish I had a toy like this one to play with. It looks like so much fun. All toys and stories are fun to think about. Here's a story about that. Once upon a time, there were three friends who liked science, adventures, and using their imagination to play. They were Millie, Ruth, and Lou. One day, Lou found a whole box of comic books, toys, action figures, and even some movies on videotape in the attic that belonged to her grandmother when she was a little girl. There was mystery in space, amazing stories, strange worlds and weird science, and the Rocketeer. These stories in the comic books were colorful and exciting and had tales of robots, space explorers, and creatures that lived on other planets. Lou was so excited about the find that she wanted to show her friends. Lou took the box of comics down from the attic and the three friends carefully took them out of the box one by one. They were old and a bit dusty and the paper was a little crumbly from being in the attic for so long. These are cool, said Millie. I love the colorful pictures. I like the robot, said Lou. I just like imagining what it might be like on other planets out in the universe, said Ruth dreamily. Do you think there are really aliens out there? Well, said Millie, we haven't found life anywhere else but Earth yet, but scientists will keep looking. There are so many worlds out there, said Ruth. There must be other life out there somewhere. It's fun to imagine what they might look like and how they would act. What is this thing? Asked Millie, holding up the videotape. Oh, said Lou, that's a videotape. My grandmother told me they used to play movies on them. I know, let's make our own science fiction movie, said Lou. I'll be a robot from planet Z14. Beep, borp, I am a robot. And I'll be a friendly alien, said Ruth. I'm going to be a rocket space explorer with a jetpack and space boots, said Millie. The three friends got busy making costumes and painting scenery for their science fiction movie. They got out some old sheets and painted a space scene with stars and nebulas and a planet scene with rockets, volcanoes, and also some alien plants and animals on them to use as background. When they were ready, they put on their costumes and acted out the show. Millie asked Mo to film it using their mom's computer tablet. Millie, the space explorer, put on her spacesuit, climbed into her rocket, and blasted off to outer space. As she flew past Mars and into the asteroid belt, she got caught in a space storm or a wormhole in space. She spun around and around and didn't know what was happening. She was transported out of the Milky Way to another galaxy and landed on planet Z-14. She strapped on her jetpack and space boots and zoomed out of the spaceship to explore. The planet was rocky and covered in greenish mist. Suddenly, out of the mist, she saw a big, scary robot coming right at her. She screamed, ah! The robot came closer and closer. Bleep, blorp, beware, said the robot. That was Lou. Space explorer Millie gathered her courage and bravely took out her space blaster. She was just about to blast the robot when a friendly alien creature, Ruth, popped up out of a rock. Stop! That's my robot helper, said the alien. My name is the Borbula, and we are picking the fruit from our tree. 
The alien pointed to a very strange looking tree with purple fruit on it. My robot's long arms are very good for picking fruit. It's very tasty. Would you like to try some? Millie, the space explorer said, oh, I thought you were going to attack me. How nice of you. I would be delighted. Maybe you could tell me more about your home. It seems like a very lovely planet. I would be happy to, said the alien. Beep, borp, me too, beeped the robot. Then they sat down to an alien tea party and had blue tea and space fruit. It was delicious. It's craft time. Today we're going to make comic strips. Uh, we saw in our earlier story that comic books like these and comic strips like the kinds that you find in the newspaper are a great way to tell stories. For this craft activity, you just need a paper and some writing or drawing materials like crayons or colored pencils. Uh, the comic strip that we're gonna use, is gonna give us a chance to have a beginning, a middle, and an end to our story, a three-part comic strip panel. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a piece of paper like this one, and we're gonna fold it in half long ways. And that's gonna give us a strip of paper. And that gives us our comic strip. And now we wanna make three boxes um, to give our three different parts of the story. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fold this in three parts. And I'm gonna kinda just eyeball it so that it's about even. There's one square and the other one just fold it over so it's like this and it makes a square when we open it up we have three different boxes i'm going to draw a square around each of those boxes so that helps me to really see where are my different different panels that i can use i'm going to use a dark green pencil to make one two, three boxes for my story, a beginning, a middle, and an end. And then I'm gonna think about what kind of story I'd like to tell and draw the pictures in the box. Maybe it's today, I'm very happy. I'm gonna get another piece, another a different color pencil and draw happy face i'm so happy because i'm here with you making comic strips <laughs> and i hope that you're making comic strips too and that's my last part of my story there it is so that's our craft activity have fun with this and if you want to share your comic strips that you made you can share it with the hashtag air and space at home We'd love to see whatever you make after our story times today. Bye-bye.